Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Garden of Bonbon bon, Chapter Triple, which is a horror game, and the third chapter of the Garden of Bonbon bon series. And if you remember the previous ones, we enter a kitten garden, where a bunch of clay friends slash monsters live, who may or may not eat kids. It's time... ...to choose. Hey, buddy. Finish your homework and you be nice if you don't want to join us. Jump as much as you like, but never to conclusions. Is this like a commentary on the uh, reception of the series? Be nice if you don't want to join us. Hmm. Yay. Unironic, I like jumping. Um, come over, my friend. Glad to see you've made it. I don't know how you did it, but then again, you survived that giant elevator crash, so uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Also, again, I apologize for hitting you over the head. In fact, it is for this reason that I believe we should not meet face to face. You see, for whatever reason, I am prone to violent instincts. And I do not trust myself to not give in to them again. I have locked myself inside of a surveillance room. That way I can help without being a danger to you. We are currently on the lowest floor to remain active before everything went awry. There are many floors below us, but they've all remained closed and abandoned for quite some time now. So just make sure not to fall. As for your children, I don't know exactly where they're being kept, but I know someone who does. Do you now? Head to the aquatic sector. That's where he resides. Sounds like you want to send me to a water level. Find two batteries for your remote. Gotcha. I always knew I was an unlucky person, but this is a new standard. I leave a bustling floor for the washroom, and when I return, everybody's gone without a trace. Which would have been peaceful if it wasn't for the giant bird walking around. I doubt I could keep this quiet for much longer. My breaths are getting very heavy. What's the bird doing outside of its containment anyway? I thought they were showing off only the short purple creature because we were behind on the schedule. This is not how I imagined my end would be. Come over here. Over here. Yay. <laughs> God. I believe in you. It just hit me that you need the key card to operate the cable car. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Literally everyone had a copy. It's how you'd get from station to station. Hi, Claire. Huh. Huh. Ribbit. Were you part of the original set? I don't think so. Well, I mean, maybe you were at it in the second game, but like... No such janitors. Cleaner checks are required before end of shifts. Oddies are to be dropped into the marked hole. Dear Mommy, the nice jellyfish is very strong. He carried everyone to here. But Miss Mason hates him, and I don't know why. Miss Mason just hates gains. Wow. You, uh, you doing a good job cleaning. <sighs> Remove oddity to receive payment and punch out. What do you define as an oddity? Is crayons? Oh my god, I have to grab each individual crayon.
So I'm going to keep watching something that I have a suspicion that the developers may do. And that they actually, there was a big thing they tweeted about this and actually left Twitter over it. They complained that people were playing the game and they're refunding it. And this is fairly typical for indie games. Uh, because, you know, it was under the two hour mark. So I'm going to keep an eye out. And maybe you've already seen the game and you already know. Or maybe you haven't. To see if... We got that one. I forgot that one there. If they do subtle things to pad the runtime. And my guess is the crayon thing. This this whole section right here is is one of those. Cause you notice how big the room is. So you gotta dump the crayons in here. You see what I mean though? See how like we're individually putting each crayon back? Okay. Oh boy! Key card! Gotcha. I'll be honest, I actually do jump from table to table like this in real life. Like 100%, I have done that in the cafeteria more than once. Like, just, just don't touch the floor. You own these tables. Put. Okay, I think we got the work. I'm not exactly sure what I did, but I just hit buttons and, you know, things go. Yeah. See the elevator ride? See how far we are? So I'm saying, just... I, I feel... I suspect we're gonna see, like... Free hat. Uh... Little, little changes like that. Yeah, I'm in the wrong place. I guess that's the place we want to be. Unless this is built for like a big set piece, because I can't figure out why there's such a huge gap. I mean, the, the gap is so big, you can see through the textures. Nice. The devil. Man, I, I don't even... It's all like... It's all science. You're here. But we want to go to the uh, aqua sector. So. The only reason I can see them making the, the level gap so big is that everything's loaded in at once. So they, they need more space to essentially uh, fit stuff in. Smack. Yeehaw. Yeehaw protocol. There you go. Ha! Oh, you were just... You were just a little bit off. It's because you bounced off the wall. Now you should make it. Try it again. There you go. Good job. 
keycard. Real nice opportunity to let us ride the thing. That's going to require a yellow keycard, which you don't have. I can see the door color right now. Just write something for everybody. You just need to look. God, it stares hell. You're a lot bigger than I thought. Oh no, <laughs> I can't fit for that gap. to go under you, which is bad. Are you seeing eye texture? You gonna wake up as I get up here? Communication kiosk. Yo. Wretched place with your child in hand, I can also tell. Not to undermine your effort, but I fear that moment may never come. I cannot let it happen, and I will gladly show you why, but after I do, you take my advice. Leave this place while you still can. Erase it from your memory. Move on and forget any of this ever happened, and I promise you, Tomorrow will be a better day. Am I... What's going on? Do you have... Some kind of mind control, uh... To basically influence our head? Almost like a hallucinogenic of the waters. Floating over the Welcome to my home. the beach, or at least what was supposed to be the home, down in the dark and cold depths of the facility. The circumstances nice force you to do things that are out of your nature. When I feel that I'm straying too far off my original course, I head to the room I found me meditating in to mentally regroup. I come to this place. And then I am reminded that what I'm fighting for is worth all of this pain and suffering. Of course, none of this is real. But it all could be. I have never had actual sun rays touch my skin. Can you imagine that? And I yearn for the day that they finally do. I need the children to achieve that. But do not worry. I will practice the safest of procedures. Whatever I decide to do with the adults, I will make sure to keep one alive and sane so that the surviving children are delivered to the surface safe and sound. Uh. And of course, to deliver me to where I choose to be. Oh, to live the simple life of a completely brainless jellyfish. Just munching on shrimp and avoiding getting eaten by turtles all day. You know you guys don't live that Never long? I appreciate how calming it is to have no conscience until you have one. I admire your courage, so I am giving you the chance to walk away. Take it. That way you don't lose both your life and the chance to see your child. Nah. Yeah, so here's where we actually no were. Liver, no intestines, but most importantly, my liver. No pancreas. 
You, sir, need to have more organs. What am I supposed to eat when there's nothing to eat? Guess I'm going to have to look elsewhere. What do you need, pancreases? Oh god, I'm a jellyfish. Jellyfish, jellyfish. Or no, maybe, maybe we're seeing the memories of, uh... The, uh, jellyfish. Hence the, like, no organs. This is curious. Oh my god, do I have to play the minigame all over again? Oh no, I do have to do three rounds. Oh no! So, uh, if editing wise, you're not gonna see these mini games. I, I think I skipped them out in my editing before too, and this one definitely, because this is just a slower version of it. Alright, we're out. More ways than one. Whoa! You are not one of them. You are not one. You need to hide. They are coming. You eat people. What are they using? The adults and the kids as like the, uh, the source? Oh no, not Chef Toadster! Hey. Go catch that criminal. Yay. You catch ten of these. Boss room. He's not bossy, but he's the boss. 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 The boys need to make it more choppy. Lisa getting it shut up, boss. Follow the light trail and jump the lights as they appear. This sounds... Interesting. Well, I don't have the key cards. So I can't necessarily play this game yet. Can you get me that? No, I can just grab it myself. We got all the criminals. Wow, all that random jumping I've been doing really paid off.
God. We're free. Oh, look, it's, uh... Open that first. That area looks fun. What happened to you is one of Stinger Flynn's tricks. He left for the progressive sector, but we have something more important to deal with right now. See Nab Nab's room? It's open now, which means he's inside. He's on the hunt, and it's too Shelly dangerous fish. to do anything in this state. We have to deal with him. Luckily, I have a solution, but you won't like it. Head to the medical sector, and we'll talk there. I don't even know why we work with you. Whoa! So don't go in there. That's like the raptor room in Jurassic Park on the Super Nintendo. Which is, uh... So... In the old Super Nintendo game... Wait, the chairs? They locked me in? No, it's just a, a quirk of the physics. There was the, um, there was a side-scroller shooter one. And then there was Windows a top-down, and then it had some first-person ones. Which were actually pretty, um, novel for the time. Like, they were actually pretty well- They weren't good gameplay-wise, but they were well done. Uh, medical sector is over here. We passed by there earlier and got that note. So yeah, as I was mentioning, uh, in the first person sections, you remember the raptor pen from Jurassic Park, the movie? You could actually go into the pen and like, I think if you had like night vision, maybe you could live or something like that. I, I vaguely remember. But if you didn't, like it was just an instant kill. So just raptors hiding in the dark. What's in here? Raptors? You're friendly, right? I mean, you would have already killed me if you had a chance. When Nab Nab escaped, it wasn't long before workers started to disappear. Of course, precautions and trading can only get you so far, so we had to think of a more permanent solution. Nabnalina was that solution. We had a theory that Nabna was as aggressive as he was due to his loneliness. We never got to prove his theory right, as the collapse happened during the surgery. That's where you come in. You'll be carrying out the final steps of said surgery. Jivanium-related procedures are very delicate. So I'm going to need you to pay very close attention to these instructions. The hard part is already done. All you need to do is mix the right concentrations and inject her with it about six times? The machine with the droplet symbols is where that's done. When it's time, the screen will light up with a symbol of the needed concentration. For simplicity, the concentrations have been represented by colors. Mix and achieve the right concentration then collect it in the syringe and give it to Nabnali. The machine with the colored pipes will occasionally shift to the wrong colors, and when that happens, use the given tongs to revert them all to their normal state of green. The buttons on the walls will also malfunction at times. When that happens, hit any ones that are lit with your drone. The excess gevanium that you can find in the room will deplete when anything malfunctions or when a concentration is needed to be delivered. The procedure stops if any of the four depletes completely, and what happens next is never good. Only the best of us perform Jevanian procedures, but we don't have much of a choice. Good luck. Let's fail on purpose. I 
I'm calling your bluff. Come on, fail me. Fail me. Okay, it's actually hard to fail. Like, I... I... Oh. Oh! Get that. Need to make blue, which is just blue plus blue. Inject. Fix this. Which is you mean red? There is no orange on here. Did you miss? Or did you already count as being hit? Green. Green plus green. Next color! Yellow! Red plus orange. <laughs> Not red plus, red plus green. This thing is good at missing. Hit thing! thing here. That's just red again. Oh, thank God it's over. Too hard. It was annoying. Anyway, grab the audio disc and head back to the aquatic sector and play it on the big speaker in the lounge. I gotta go back over, all the way back to the aquatic sector. I gotta take this elevator again. It is padding. Oh my god. Do it. I'm not gonna stay in the wave with no windows. You can tell me what to do. Hey. This is gonna get weird.
At last, he's no longer miserable. I'm surprised they both weren't originally members of the mutants below. They certainly fit. This is... What was that? Oh! Oh, my camera! You okay? Where's your mate? Now what? Oh. Free hat. Cutscene? Yes. You have overstayed your welcome here. I even made Don't you dare touch me, you giant Cheeto. Accepting it is long overdue. Don't worry. I won't get rid of you or collect you just yet. I was never one to abide by waste. An old friend needs you a lot more than I do. They too are on a path to achieve peace of mind. I already have more than enough subjects to move forward with my aspiration and my ultimate mental refinement. You just take a little nap while I transfer you to where you're meant to be. Why do we just stand here? Huh. Hey you. You're finally awake. Did you really do that? Can't blame you for taking a nap. Feels like we've been in this car forever. So, Singer. When are we arriving at this place called Beach? I believe we are lost. Yes. Nice. You had one job and you messed that up somehow. I am struggling to locate the being who asked for your opinion. Damn! Can you at least put some music on since we're gonna be out here for a while? The, the way the car controls is a little weird. That's what I'm talking about. See what I mean? Like, it's Hila, my head's staying this? like this. It's not staying with the car. Yes, yes, bird. Awesome. So if you hold it and this car turns, you Captain turn on like a dime, you. Macross Zero style. Captain? Okay, decent answer. Can you stop vocalizing for just one second so I can focus on the road? What do you mean, focus on the road? We've been going in circles for hours. Never trust a jellyfish, am I right, Opila? Yes. If your pathetic mouth utters another infuriating sentence, I will stuff your whole body in one of those stupid party hats on your head. Oh! Oh my god. So is Jellyfish like the last, the big bad or what? What is that? Yay. Cool. Oh my god, I have to play a targeting minigame. Yay.
Jellyfish, jellyfish. Baru. Finally, you're waking up. I was getting really bored. People need to stop telling me that. Over there isn't much of a talker. Plus, it's scary here. That big green guy keeps checking in on us. I think he believes we're some sort of dolls. We could use that to our advantage to try and escape. He cannot know that we're alive. You're honestly the best character in this entire series. Or change something in the room. Or Let's the only one of character. Back to the way it was before he checks in on us again. This way, we can inch our way towards escaping, all while he doesn't suspect a thing. In other words, from his point of view, the room must remain unchanged. When he's close, the lights change color, so run back to your chair when the lights change. I don't know where to start though, so you give it a try. Are you cool enough? You were cool enough to enter. And training. Oh no, this is gonna be. Quick, sit down. He's coming. Wait, I didn't fix everything correctly. Oops. He cares about that. Why am I sitting down? Get you. Get you. Get you. That was left open from the beginning, so. How do I close the door? Ain't nothing going on here, just us. We just making out. Okay. Free cube. Hey, come help me solve this equation. No, 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 go back, go back. Why would you make the equation just before things went over?
Speed run hey, tactics. Mom, help me solve this equation. Quick, sit down. He's coming. You're right. Maybe now isn't the best time for education. So we got the drone in there. Okay. Now let's finish the fight. Now what? Give me in, give me in. I got the key. We're out of here. Don't worry, you and me. I totally won't betray you at the end. See ya! Make a break for it. But you're scary. That's your place, right? I'll see you later. What is this? Children. Huh. Bye. Was I supposed to go up there with you? Now what? I guess the progressive sector, because we got the key card. Then we take this very long elevator ride again. Freedom. Protect your loved ones, they love you back the same. Jellyfish. Is it bird math? You don't know, don't know no bird math around here. How to tame a giant angry bird. Achieve high ground, jump and land on subject's back, interact with deer. I gotta Yoshi it? Oh god. Ah, <laughs> I see you up there.
Yeah, that's about the uh, bird. What are these puns too? Egg. Egg. Bird. 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 Bird? Five. Three. What do you got for me? Mr. Kebab! I see we ran out on budget here. In this park. Be you somewhere the cost, unlike me. It should not be moved without its costume. Where's the costume at? Why is there like layers of doors? There's even more layers of doors. There's even more layers of doors here in note. Case for is even capable of fluent speech, jellyfish. Why is there so many doors? What is it like? Oh my god. Sound, red button. Go to the moon. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know where to begin. There's just a hentai right there. Oh, it's a boss fight. There is a two-head turtle. Oh! That was a tongue. I got like Ryu code. You know, like from Kill a Kill when she like... She said she could like stretch her costume like a fly swatter. You want to attack me? I guess we gotta get... Uh, oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I, I survived. Go over there, my friend. No, over here. Hit the button. I guess you hit it. You got a rocket. So we need to put the rocket on your tongue? Or something weird? It looked like there was a way to do something on there. Yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. Huh? 
Ooh, that was close. Give me rocket. Tongue. Okay, I got you on there. Oh. It's over there. Get that for me, my friend. Gonna get ready to dodge. How many hits do I have to like do on you on this? Oh no, you're not dead. It's not three hits, it's more. Oh, thank God. Larg. Three hat. Huh. That's like the giant face we see around here. Gray stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. Yes. Gray stones with one bird. Behave or get banned, banned. Three stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. Hand over your pancreas. Three stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. Hand it Behave over. or get banned. Ban. Three stones with one bird. Behave or get banned. Ban. Three stones with one bird. Three stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. Now what? Free bird! Free bird! Waha! Let's go! Empty your hand first. But I empty my hand. There we go. What is going on? Okay. Bird riding is a new one. I'll give you that. Yeah. What drives you forward so vigorously? I refuse to accept that it's your protective parenting instincts. Oh, I know. Someone has given you false hope. Promised you what you want when all along they had one thing on their mind. Pancreases. At first, I was confused by how everything was going perfectly in your favor, despite you never being here before. And then it hit me. Someone has to have been guiding you. And as with most things, I was right. It did have help. Your friend here has helped me tremendously. Thanks to him, I bore witness to very vital information. 
What information, you ask? Well, when my turn comes, I will simply prevent myself from turning into what he turned into. What? Slow, 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 slow. Uh, you're a swole. So I gotta slow down. This is kind of a quirky, quirky thing. Oof. So you still need to cross further than me. You should cross first, yeah. Now I need to speed up a little bit, but not too much. Just enough. But we keep like some lead. I gotta slow way down. More, more, more. We got about good pace right here. Slow down a little bit. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Speed up. Don't get too much of a lead. So way down. Speed up. Keep the speed. Slow down a little bit so we maintain uh, some distance if we need to. Can we time to get ahead? We made it wherever we did. You can run away, but the smell of your pancreas will always draw me to you. Apparently. Big guy. This is like some kind of like we have a Hulk thing. Oh. Gumby wins. Fatality. Wait, no. Stop it, you two. We wow, everyone's everyone's <laughs> shot. What bird? Everyone's jobbing the green guy. Is that the ending? Stop it, you two. No. Okay. We're, there, it just, I just can't see because it's dark. Find the kingdom, find the sheriff. Do not let the jester find you. Oh, hey. You want to come with me? Sucks out there, right? We're gonna go to Wonderland, kid. Yeah, okay, that's the ending. So, that's it for Garden of Bon Bon 4. So, actually, actually worse than the second. In a weird way, the first game is the best one.
because it was the shortest for one and it had the one tight section of the bird. But this one had pretty much no like dangerous section. Like there was no snail, there's no nothing, like no bird as far as like one attacking you. This one was just all puzzles. It had weird cutscenes like that. They were so kind of bizarre that I actually liked them in a strange way. And like a, you're watching like some DVD horror movie you fall at Walmart in the bin kind of thing. Like that's what the game feels like in a way. But yeah, aside from like the horror kind of just completely leaving the game or any uh basically any uh, premise of it whatsoever uh this one i mentioned at the beginning and you could see it throughout you you probably won't notice as much because my editing to bring down the uh, runtime but they really were very upset like if you can check their twitter it's all still there like they were very upset about the uh, the people who were funding the game and everything and i'm not sure how many people actually did i'm assuming bomb bun actually made a decent amount of money because it, it's got a level of infamy that a lot of indie games in general like wish for. So even like if half the people like were fun in the game or even more, uh, I think this, I think Bon Bon definitely made its money. But the the second game had a bit of a not as bad, but it was there. And this one really had the you can tell they were trying to pad the runtime just enough. And you can here's how you tell. Here's another way you can kind of tell. So as me being a let's player, I'm a little more efficient in my playing, and like I will move a little bit faster than normal players would but my total runtime of the game was a, it's about an hour and 40 about an hour and 40 minutes maybe 48 minutes so like it's very close to the two hour margin so if you calculate if someone takes their time more especially if they linger on things or if they fail puzzles and stuff uh if they take breaks or whatever they 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 might just sneak just over the two hour margin on that return limit because the entire game is just covered with padding like, overly large rooms that have no reason to be large. Rooms, they're useless. They're just made to kind of pad things out. Every set piece being far, far away from each other. The puzzles being singular steps. Like, there's no, there's never anything like you dump all your items in the thing or whatever. Like, every puzzle is singular clicks, singular steps. Uh, they added the cutscenes, which there was less of them in the, the original one. And the cutscenes have sometimes just long drawn out parts. Compared to the first one, where the the only kind of cutscenes we got was really quick ones, just like something's coming in and like attacking you. So you know, like you could have at least a mediocre horror game, I and mean, a lot of horror games are mediocre. I actually will say that if this wasn't episodic for one, I, the episodic format's obviously for profit. I mean, that is, I think that's obvious. And you took, you were obviously you would refine them, but you took the set pieces from each game. And you made that the entire game. Like, it's a set piece, set piece, set piece, set piece. Because you had an alright set piece. That's why I said, like, the, um... The one girl mascot that likes math and stuff. That's your... Aside from, like, the bird, that's your best one. Because she actually interacts with the main character rather than just, like... Rarg or, like, I'm cryptic. She, she has, like, a little interesting set piece with the classroom and everything before. And even this one, her set piece was, like, a little bit better. And she also has a little bit more character. I, I think her character has, like... It's kind of in theme of the kindergarten thing, because she's like, gotta do the math, gotta do this, gotta do memory, whatever. And the other ones are just, I'm a monster, I attack you. So you have a few options on your kind of uh, horror game structure that kind of basically is like a throwback kind of thing like this. So you have your typical horror game, but things are like twisted kind of thing. So that'd be like your Poppy Playtime, this one. Five Nights at Freddy, not so much, because usually the gameplay gets a slight switch up every game. Security Breach, yes, actually, that'd be a perfect example. Where, like I said, it's it's a standard horror game, but they it's been reskinned. And then you have your horror games, your kind of kitty, uh, it's a kid show or this thing, but evil. Uh, you have your ones that kind of like dig into what it's parroting. So that'd be like your Amanda the Adventurer, your uh, Baldy or whatever, where they they dig into what its source was and they change the gameplay around a little bit around to that format. So Garna Bonbon, to stand up, really needed to go deep into that. Like, it needed to go into the... You're in a kindergarten, like, you should be doing schoolhouse kind of things. And not, like, jumping on the lights puzzle? Or, like, operation puzzle? But yeah, the, the big the big problem with Garden Bonbon is... It's not that it's a mascot horror game, right? But like, every YouTuber's been going around with to make money. Uh, the problem is Garden Bonbon is so slow. Like, it's just so slow and boring. It's way too long. 
and too expensive for for its overall series length because you, these are like six dollars each now i think so like once you get to three five parts it's not a cheap game and once again i did like the developers previous works you know before the the bon bon thing they're little like very very obscure kind of very niche horror games but once again i've said this in my previous video you know if a developer wants to make something that has more market appeal then by all means do it i think there's nothing wrong for similar forms of media or things like that because media is a one-time consumption kind of thing usually as long as your media is like enjoyable and if it left like i said i think that's bonbon's problem it's just it's not enjoyable uh i originally was not going to play this game that's hence why i was delayed for a few days I, I only played it because of um there was enough comments asking for it and i don't like i don't like disappointing uh viewers if they really want to see something so like all right fine i mean maybe you people will like enjoy it or whatever and there's a couple of reasons i don't necessarily like playing this game series aside from the fact it's kind of like boring i do like to do mix i do try to play different types of games uh that kind of helps with like keeping my mind fresh when it comes to uh this whole thing and you know doing this youtubing streaming stuff for like 14 15 years but there's also like a weird aura around this game and it's, it's kind of like infected it's kind of like going outward and it's not bon bon's actual fault this aura is kind of formed i actually blame the youtubers on this one uh it's it's like it's kind of like instigate a weird fandom war and I, I i'm not attached to any fandoms whatsoever i don't personally believe them but people can be part of fandoms that's fine where each faction that's attached to these type of games it's kind of like pointing fingers like which ones which one has ruined horror and then there's like discourse about like indie horror games are dead and all sorts of bizarre dialogues and obviously indie horror games are not dead you can look at my channel and it's gross <laughs> uh, there's plenty out there i mean obviously there's very mediocre games out there but the fact that i'm able to find some good ones by uploading every day here and there it's it shows that there's still plenty of decent games out there. But I saw like a Band of the Adventurer taking some flack of being like another Bon Bon kind of thing. And like, that's why I said like, there's a weird aura that's formed around this game. Like it's, it's just spreading outward and it's, it's kind of being built up by YouTubers a bit. I'm not the ones that's like playing the game, but the ones that do the uh, horror games are dead. Because the Bon Bon, like that whole culture, which is very strong on YouTube algorithm wise. Go Google it. You'll see what I mean. It's not necessarily with Bon Bon, but bon bon's a really obvious one and if you sometimes have enough negativity flowing around a game because like you get a youtuber that says something negative or does an essay that's negative uh, and then you have that video gets 500,000 views or million sometimes even more and then you have multiple youtubers doing this so like yeah someone going on youtube is being saturated at every single angle and i'm assuming there's probably some things on other social networks you kind of you kind of build up an aura of negativity that really like i said infects and spreads out a bit there's the memers, of course. The memers are all right. You guys are cool. But sometimes when there's so much negativity, it can kind of bring everyone down. And like I said, I, I don't like Garden Bon Bon. That's fine. It's, it's basically like a 5 out of 10, sometimes 4 out of 10 game. But I don't quite like how it's created aggro towards other fairly legitimate, uh, well-done games. Not necessarily like perfect games, but just, you know, competent ones. It'd be nice, you know, if people just kind of got along and consumed what they want. Because, I mean, these are indie horror games. There's no real like stakes involved, you know what I mean? It's just enjoy what you enjoy. People enjoy certain types of genres or things, that's fine. Some people enjoy mascot horror. Some people enjoy very specific games, mascot horror, the newest thing that's come out. And then some people are like me playing hentai games. Not on YouTube anymore. We used to do that, but not anymore. But anyway, so think I'll watch you play Garden Bon Bon 4. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.